This is Michael Fisher for SavingAndInvesting.com and I want to speak briefly about deflation. Deflation is effectively the opposite of inflation, although it uh, also had, takes into account that the decline in prices, i.e. the negative inflation, has to be sustained. Um, I, in other words, it can't be a temporary drop in price levels, it has to be sustained. So deflation is effectively a sustained uh, negative rate of inflation, meaning that prices are dropping for some time. Um, deflation takes place when, for example, the prices of assets and goods and services have risen to such a level that uh, they begin to drop and, that's just, and that takes place for some time. Typically it takes place during economic periods that are troublesome where potentially, for example, people are, because what it effectively means is that people are paying less, things are getting cheaper over a medium to longer period of time. And in order for things to get cheaper over a medium to longer period of time, that's typically the case because people are willing to pay less for them or have less cash to pay for them and prices have to come down. And so that it often coincides with periods of uh, a troublesome economy where there's less cash in the economy, where perhaps banks aren't lending, where perhaps people are losing their jobs and uh, where asset prices, therefore, the prices of goods and services are therefore declining. So that is what uh, deflation is. It is effectively negative inflation that lasts for some time. Um, and deflation coincides and is often a result of a poor economic environment where things just get cheaper as opposed to getting more expensive, which is uh, often the case while um, people are making money and chasing assets and prices are going up. The problem with the, there are many problems with deflation. Clearly, one of them is that as asset prices drop in value, um, people effectively have less assets. In other words, the value of, of any assets asset that one holds, whether that's uh, the, the value of the assets that are deflating is dropping in value, meaning that the value potentially of houses, uh, other asset stocks are deflating. Um, Hence, hence, the, hence the presence of deflation. And that um, is, of course, something that private individuals uh, d do not like per se, but also um, leads to a, a wealth effect that is, is negative. I, one does not feel as wealthy or as well off. And, in, and, and borrowing against assets also becomes more troublesome because these assets are now more worth less and less. Um, meaning that um, any refinancing against assets or any loans would also um, be smaller in that um, if they were a similar percentage of what those assets uh, represented, assets that were now worth less effectively. So deflation um, often coincides with weak a weak economy or a lack of cash or banks not lending, but also has uh, manifold problems associated with um, and there are many others, and um, there are many other uh, factors associated with deflation. But this is a brief introduction to the topic and some of the factors associated with that topic.